Hello everyone, welcome to the Walking Menu channel. In this video, we are going to explain you more about what is an Apple ID and what is this for. Essentially, an Apple ID is like your identity card in real life, but that is used for all the Apple products and software. For example, if you buy a new iPhone today, they will ask you to input your Apple ID, which means in short, it's your account on Apple, your identity on Apple products. So for example, let me, um, let me like, you know, input all the details, like create my Apple ID, install the app and set up my iPhone. Great. So all this data and all the apps that you have in end store is already recorded in your Apple ID account. Next year, for example, if you're going to buy an iPad, if you would like to reinstall all the app that is already installed in your iPhone and you would like to have it in your new iPad as well, you simply need to input your Apple ID and all your app that was installed, you can easily reinstall in your new iPad and also, for example, all your um, other data, let's say your photos or like um, your uh, password um, history, all those things will be easily transferable in your new iPad. So in short, your Apple ID is for storing your identity or your um, like you know, historical data and make it easily transferable between all the Apple product so, um, services, uh, software and all the ecosystem. So that is actually why every time if your app need to update, need to um, uh, like you know, re um, authenticate your your identity. They will ask you to input your Apple ID and password because that is your identity card in Apple. So let's get started on how you can um, easily create one account and also um, what to do whenever they ask you to re input the data on your uh, Apple product. Great, so first of all, we are going to show you how it will look like once your Apple ID is already signed in and already successfully set up in your iPhone. So you can go to setting in your iPhone. Once you click in, for example, I already have my own Apple ID, Apple account set up. So you will see that I have an account as Crystal Tie. Once I click in, what I will see is I will see the um, email that is associated to this um, Apple ID and also um, other details here for example my password and security the subscription that i have subscribed to um, or in, uh, purchase um, the app for example and in the lower part you will see all the devices that is linked to this apple account so for example i have this um, iphone 11 an apple watch and also macbook air Therefore, uh, you will see all these three devices that I have my Apple account sign in in this product. Now we're going to see how we can create an Apple account easily. So if you go to your browser, and I'm using Safari here right now, click to appleid.apple.com. You will be redirected to this page, Apple ID. And when you scroll down, you will be able to create your Apple account easily on this page. So now click create your Apple ID. It will lead you to a page to input your personal detail, email, and also link with your phone number. Now I'm going to input the detail like the walking man new test, for example. And you can select your, um, wherever you're located, your country or region. And birthday, um, I'll input a test one here. So let's say this one. And when you scroll down, you will be asked your um, email address. So this email address will also be used as your Apple ID. If you would like to sign in to other devices in the future, you will use this same email ID as your identifier as Apple ID. So now I'm going to input the walking menu at gmail.com. Right. And for the password, um, you will need to make sure your password um, meet this requirement. Um, eight or more character um, include both upper and lower case letters and also have at least one number. So now let's put a random one literally random 
one, two, three, four exclamation mark. Okay, so now we have a strong password and random. So you just um, re input your password again. One, two, three, four exclamation mark. Okay, done. And now we are going to the phone number part. And now I'm going to use my Hong Kong number as a test number. Right here. And I'll input my phone number here. And I will choose to receive a text message. When you scroll down, you can choose what information um, that you would like to receive. So for example, um, if you would like to receive everything, just take all the box or you can untick it if you do not want to receive them. And now is the verification character. L Q Y 7 Q. Okay. Then simply click continue. And they will send the verification code to your email address, which is the walking menu at gmail.com that I have input. Then you will need to open your email inbox to check this six digit code. So I have received this one, um, 799815. Next. And it will send it to my phone now as an SMS. Awesome. Okay, so I received this one as well. Simply input the code and click next. Great. So now we already have our Apple ID created and set up in less than five minutes. And therefore, in the future, if you need to use any Apple product and they ask you to sign in with your Apple ID, you can simply come here, create your own Apple ID, and then later on use your corresponding email to sign in to your Apple account. And therefore, you can start using your Apple services. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please feel free to give us a like below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell button in order to receive the latest update from us. We hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you.